Hey guys and welcome back. It's Sean at Okadi AK, a little bit of sunshine, hoping to brighten up your day no matter what the weather. And I turn 25 in about two weeks from now. Um, as I'm recording this, it is the 26th of February, so maybe three weeks. I don't know, depends on the math you do. My birthday is on a Sunday, so two and a half weeks. I don't know. Anyway, I want to get to a point of why I'm saying this. So I'm only 25 in two weeks, two and a half weeks, whatever. And I feel really, really like, I don't know, <laughs> scared of being 25. <laughs> and I don't know why, you know, it's no different from being 24. Literally gonna be no different when I'm 26. But I don't know why it is. There's something like making me go, oh my God, I'm freaking 25. So I've decided that like, I need to actually start putting my life into order. And I don't know what it is about me putting goals or like, I guess calling myself out on YouTube but when I put things out on videos I tend to stick with them so like the whole weight loss thing last year I stuck to that the whole like trying to get like other things going I stuck to all them too I stuck to the majority of them I'm not gonna say every goal I talk about today is going to be like 100% the way it I say it is today because life gets in the way sometimes and you know sometimes your goals change because opportunities that come up and they get better whatever else okay right now i'm rambling but i don't want to ramble in this video i really really do want to get to the point what i want to put out in this video is some goals i want to set for myself for the next year so between 25 and 26 i guess um i really do want to set myself some legit goals that are actually going to like actually <laughs> get me somewhere <laughs> not that I don't feel like I am somewhere now I am 100% grateful for my life I love my job I love my family but I just feel like I need to kick myself up the butt a little bit because I've been kind of lackadaisy in the last little while obviously not funny because I've been working as well but I mean with the likes of goals and you know getting where I want to be and everything else I have I've been a little bit laxy daisy on myself and I'm still rambling oh my god do I ever not ramble on this channel anyway <laughs> So, one of my major goals, obviously, is YouTube, coming back to it and actually getting somewhere with YouTube and Instagram and all that kind of jazz. I do feel like my food Instagram actually has grown to, like, a point that I actually wanted it to be Yeah, Probably a little bit more, if I'm quite honest. I never actually thought that many people would be interested in what I actually eat. But, um, apparently they are. <laughs> but now I want to apply that same logic to my YouTube. So, I think... With Instagram, the thing I found is the more I upload, the more I got better at the likes of hashtags and you know connecting with people, the better my Instagram got. So maybe that's the kind of same logic I need to apply to my YouTube. I really do start I need to start connecting with other YouTubers. Because I obviously don't have YouTube friends, obviously I do, but I never see them in real life, which I think is definitely an issue. So I want to push myself out on my 25 year old self. Um, to actually go out and go to places that I wouldn't usually go to and actually maybe meet people that I wouldn't necessarily meet in an everyday situation. So that's like well, something I want to do at least once this year. Um, yeah. <laughs> and some of you just announced a tour in Dublin so maybe that's a good starting point of trying to get a ticket for that but I don't know. <laughs> it's not really my scene but maybe that's the point. It's not really my scene but I will know people there and it could be a not good opportunity for me personally. Um, the next thing I want to do is kind of get smarter. <laughs> You're going to be like, what? But no, I do. Um, I obviously did my college degree and I haven't used it. And I, you know, I am good at learning things and I have got this great enthusiasm for learning things. So I've decided what I want to learn more about is basically what I'm working in, which is like supplements and nutrition and dietitian dietitian is that word diet and nutrition i guess and um, all that kind of like side of life you know what food can do for us and what makes our body function and work and everything else like that not like really the science part of it but more the actual like i'm not going to say common sense but the, the details behind what everything can do like how we can cure help people cure things and i just want to learn more about that especially people with special diets because obviously that's something that affects me and a lot of people that i now know because it's a world i've like literally jumped into and i do think i am like maybe the person the world needs in that situation so maybe that not maybe i am i am gonna learn more about it i've already been like kind of putting like myself into other things and more kind of trying to 
learn something new every single day in work. <laughs> I think the people at work are getting quite the sick of me asking questions. So I need to find a new logic of how to learn these things. But that is another goal I want to do. So I basically want to build up my knowledge of supplements and nutrition and all that jazz in general. Not that I haven't got a good knowledge already. I do. I do have a really strong knowledge. But I want it to be to a point that I can actually use it in a career and still work on my job but maybe have something that kind of brings it a step up as well like i don't know it's, it's kind of a hard thing to make a living out of but i guess at the same time it's not because this country is literally crying out for nutritionists and dietitians and everything else and maybe that's something i should consider actually making a career of because although dietitians would have studied it for years i would be someone who has actually gone through the majority of like you know having to change my diet and actually living that life rather than just reading about it or helping other people through so I'd be able to help them through my experience as well which is why I kind of set up my food Instagram and I put like gluten free and vegan things on YouTube it's not to kind of brag that I'm a vegan it's more to help people get on that journey and it's more to help people that are gluten free that think it would be impossible to be vegan because a lot of gluten free people do think that way I just wanted to show the world that it wasn't impossible. Like, I don't just eat lettuce and cardboard. I promise, I'm pretty sure cardboard probably has gluten in it. So that's another thing I wanted to work towards. The next is my actual physique, <laughs> my body itself. Obviously, I've done the whole weight loss thing, lost the weight I wanted to lose, and now I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, what do I do next? And I've decided that I just actually want to get my fitness to a level that I'm really happy with. Because as low fat as I am, <laughs> low fat, as much weight as I've lost, my fitness still isn't 100%. Like, I, I still find myself getting out of breath. I still find myself not quite feeling as fit as I'd like to be. So that's my next kind of like goal for 25 is to be at the peak of my fitness. And I don't mean peak as in it's gonna only last year and end, but I just wanna reach that fitness level that I've always kind of wanted to be at, which I think would really complement all the like dietetics and nutrition and all that kind of stuff. Because like obviously I'm gonna be learning how my body, what my body needs and how to get to that like peak kind of level as well. So I think them two will definitely like butt heads and be like great. Um, on top of that, I definitely want to change like all my like skincare products and all that kind of jazz. I want to go natural a little bit more, and I don't mean it that way. Um, but I mean I don't want to use heavily chemical like skincare and body care anymore. Um, the likes of shampoos and conditioners. There's a brand I really really like that's like pretty natural. I'm going to try and incorporate as much as their products into my life as I possibly can and then see what other ones I can use. Um, makeup is something I'm probably never gonna change, but <laughs> who knows, I did it once in my life that I'd never be a vegetarian. I know, right? I guess I was never a vegetarian, so I, I didn't lie on that, but uh, I just skipped straight into vegan. Um, but yeah, that is where I wanna go with like, skincare and that I'm kind of looking better looking better <laughs> I'm kind of taking better care of my skin because I actually have no skincare routine at the minute like the world is lucky if I wash my face <laughs> that sounds disgusting I don't mean it that way but I mean I don't even use like facial scrubs and I don't use like anything magical on my skin I literally sometimes just splash water on my face and it you know it's done me well for years but it's something I really want to change um just organizing all my business stuff as well i want to actually like get my business out there a lot more this year and um, i only say that every freaking year and i still haven't done it um but i want to change what i do a little bit <laughs> it sounds crazy but i do i think i kind of got an idea of what works what doesn't work and um i need to i need to work on that and that's something i think is like the my business seems to be like the slowest progressing thing in my entire life like i want to lose weight yeah i can do it <laughs> I want to get a job, yeah, I can do it. I want to grow my business, no, it doesn't happen for me. And I don't know, maybe it's just that what I've been doing up to now, I haven't been 100% in for, like it was just what I could do at the time, rather than what I wanted to do at the time. So that's probably why it hasn't been successful. And I was 100, I finally was 100% honest with someone the other day and like said that I was straight and gone. I kind of, I'm kind of glad that it wasn't successful because if it was, I'd be stuck down something I actually really don't want to do. 
some of the things I do like doing, but a lot of them I actually really don't. <laughs> and I was just doing them because I thought they'd make good money and that's not a good way to go into the business world is to try and just get something because you want money. It should be about like what you actually want to do and that's something I need to work on. And um, that's probably gonna be a lot behind the scenes rather than like I'm gonna post it everywhere. But it is going to be something I am going to be working in on my 25s too. So you know, 25 is going to be a busy year. Apparently I'm either going to be in a gym or with my head stuck in a book. Um, <laughs> or with like some sort of money making thing that I actually care about. Or rubbing good natural lotions on my skin. Apparently that, that's my 25. That's what I'm going to do for my 25 fifth year on this planet and also obviously do more good in the world that's obviously always my goal in life to always be kind and grateful and the nicest human being I could ever possibly be not because I feel I should be it's just what comes naturally to me so that's me at 25 hmm what do you what's your goal to when you're 25 like I know like if you'd asked me when I was 15 or 16 where I saw myself in 10 years it definitely wasn't like where I am now which is crazy but I'd like to see where your perspective is like what you want to be when you're 25 because I know a lot of people would be younger than me that's watching this channel or maybe if you're older you can tell me like <laughs> where you were when you were 25 and did where you were you wanted to be too because I don't, I don't I'm not going to say that I'm not where I want to be because I kind of am I didn't go down the career path I didn't want to go for but at the same time, I'm not at the same level that I thought I should have been at now. So I'm kind of like in this weird in-between situation. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Bye.